Hey guys, and today I'm going to be tie dyeing because today is just the fun day to tie dye. I'm really excited. Today I'm making something for my grandma for her birthday because I know she really wanted something tie dye, and I know she'll really like it. So I'm making this for my grandma and tie dyeing a shirt for her. I think she's really gonna like it. So I'm gonna start. The first thing I'm gonna do is I was just scroll. I was just looking through all my dad's clothes and I'm like, ooh, this is cool. So I just grabbed it. Asked my mom if I could use it. And she said yes, because my dad has a lot of them. So we are going to be tie-dyeing today. And I'm actually going to be making one too. So me and her can be twins. So I'm going to grab my shirt as well. Um, Mine is a, these one. There's the looks the ground. It looks mine's brand new. But me and her are going to be twinners. And me and her, I don't know, it's going to be really fun. Um, wait, actually, no, actually, I just, okay, guys, I decided I'm not going to tie-dye, too. I'm going to put this in back. I have two in here right now that are mine. These two are both mine. I don't want to tie-dye them yet because I just don't want to. So I'm thinking about using the marbling because I know the marbling is really cool. But I decided I am going to be actually tie-dyeing. So I have the tie-dye stuff or the tie-dye kit. I just need to grab a couple more things. Um, actually, in the marbling kit, there's actually normal tie-dyeing in here. So, I'm actually going to grab some colors from the marbling kit and probably use some. So, I'm going to see how it turns out. So, I got some extra colors. So, I have green, blue, purple, pink another blue and a yellow. So we have lots of colors to do for tie-dyeing. So I'm really excited. I got like gloves, I got everything, directions and everything. So the first thing I'm gonna do is we have to wet the shirt so it's nice and like cool, you know? So we're actually first gonna get all the supplies we're gonna need for tie-dyeing. First of all, we're gonna need a towel. We're gonna need um, the shirt. We're also gonna need all the dye and stuff. And then we need some water because water is the most important part, obviously. So I'm gonna grab some water. I'm actually really excited to tie-dye because I'm excited to see how my, my grandma's reaction is because I know she'll really like it because tie-dyeing is really fun and it's also super like, creative and stuff. So I'm gonna set you guys right here. I'm gonna get my tie-dyeing all set up. So I'm gonna lay out my towel and I'm gonna go get the shirt wet and then I'll start putting together all the tie-dyeing stuff. So I'm gonna start some, um, these are the colors I'm gonna use, some of these colors at least. So, I am going to ask my grandma what her favorite colors are. So, yeah, I got the shirt ready, so I'm just gonna go and get it wet. So let's go. We're just gonna go soak it and then let it sit in the sun for a couple minutes, probably about like three to two minutes, just because it's sitting in the sun so it's gonna dry really fast. I'm gonna rinse it with some water because that's what you're supposed to do. You're supposed to get the whole shirt wet with water. That's the first thing you do before you start tie-dyeing. You're gonna wanna get your whole shirt wet, squeeze it really good, put it right here. Uh, dry your guys' hands off. Sorry, you guys can't see me, but I gotta go to the bathroom. So I might have to come off the part too. Because I do have to kind of have to go to the bathroom and I also have to wait till this dries. So I'll just be like setting up everything. So I'm gonna set you guys right here real fast. And I'm gonna go hang this up so it dries quick. And then hopefully, when I show you the results, the results are really good. I think, I hope. So right now I'm just gonna let it sit out and dry in the sun. I Like I said guys, I'm only letting it sit out for a couple minutes just because I don't want it to get like too dry. So it's just hanging up on that thing right there. Hopefully it um, dries a little bit. Um, so we're gonna get started. I'm gonna start tie dyeing. I'm gonna set you guys right here because I don't really have anywhere else to put you guys. I'm gonna art, I'm gonna start opening it up and starting to put it together. I'm excited. But these are the colors that actually came in the tie dye kit. It came with um, a darker blue, a dark blue, a purple, and a green. I'm just kind of curious to see what her favorite colors are so I can get her favorite colors in the tie dye action. So these are the colors I'm using. 
Uh, so, no, I don't even know. Like I have my rubber band ball, so I'm definitely needing some rubber bands. And then I obviously have my gloves. And then I guess we'll use some of the dark ones. Perfect. So we have everything ready for the shirt. We're just gonna let it dry for a little bit. And while it's drying, we're gonna put the rubber bands on when we get it out. I don't know, let me go look. I'm gonna look through this to see what kind of techniques they have. Like what kind of techniques you can do for your tie dyeing. So I'm gonna look. Um, so you could do a magical rainbow swirl. You can do a totally friendly, oh, tr oh, trendy twists. You can do like the stripes. I think I might do some, I think I'm gonna do stripes on my grandma's just because I feel like my grandma's would look really cool stripes. So I'm gonna do stripes with pink. Wait, no, I'm gonna do uh, blue and purple for sure. So maybe blue, purple, and then maybe I'll get in, or should I just do blue and purple? Should, do you think blue and purple and green would look good together? Or should I pop in a little bit of pink? I think I'm gonna pop in a little bit of pink as well. So I got lots of colors to pick from. So I picked purple, blue, and pink super pretty so I think they'll turn out super cute with those colors so I'm just gonna set them to the side because those are the colors I'm using these are the colors I'm not using so I think I'm gonna go check on the shirt and see how it turned out so you guys can see me over there I'm gonna walk over there I don't know if you guys I don't know if you know if you're gonna be able to see me but hi guys you can see me I'm just letting it get so it's you're supposed to wait till it's damp it's still a little bit wet Usually I have to wait 24 hours until you can unravel it, but I think, sorry guys, I think it'll turn out really good. So I got the shirt, I'm going to start figuring out the technique I'm using. So I decided I'm going to use the lines technique, oh, because that's the technique they're showing you on the directions, I think. So I think that's the technique I'm going to do. No, it's actually the scrunchies. I feel like if I do, actually I don't know if I want to do the line technique. I'm going to do a different technique. I'm going to do a technique that I completely just made up. I'm literally making it up right now. <laughs> I'm thinking of an idea. And I just thought of one. There's paint on this. Oh, well. There'll probably be. I mean, like I said, this is my dad's shirt. So it's probably going to be ah, pretty, um, I don't know. Just, yeah. So you're just going to want to lay it out straight if you're doing my technique. I'm going to do, like, the... Where you scrunch it up in a little ball technique, kind of. Where you kind of do this. Where you grab a rubber band and do it around, like, some spots. Just to be kind of fun. I'm going to start it. So I'm starting by just wrapping it up in a little rubber band. Because that's the first thing you're going to do. Is you're going to wrap it in a rubber band. So it um, stays over your shoulder. So then you're gonna, so pretty much what you do is you just tie dye where you crunch, crunch up. Um, and then I'm gonna do next one. I think these are gonna be really cool. I'm just gonna do just a bunch of different designs. Hopefully I'll be able to make another tie dye shirt for my grandma another day. I just don't know when. But probably again eventually. So this is how it's turning out so far. I'm only going to do a couple of these scrunchies because I'm also just going to do like around colors sometimes too. Shirt. All right, I'm going to show you guys how to how it looks so far. Right now, I'm just pretty much just tying it up in the way I want to tie it. So I'm just doing like these little things around it so I can do the whole thing and that's just like a cool spread. I just feel like it'll be really cool. It's kind of like a good, I don't know. I was gonna do the swirl technique, but I'm not gonna this time because it's a little bit um, easier. And I wanna try something different because I haven't tried anything else yet. And I do wanna try something else. So hopefully this turns out cute. I think it will. So I'm gonna do one more. I'm gonna show you how I get it. Go right foot. Oh, um. Sorry, guys. I'm just trying to get all hyped up about tie dyeing. <laughs> sorry, you guys, can see my butt. 
not the rest of my body, but I don't know. So I'm done scrunching them all up. I'm actually gonna do some, another one right here, I think. Just to be kind of fun. Just to be fun. Just so there's just a lot of different design. All right, I think this is the last one, or maybe I'll do one more. I'll probably just do one more. So the bigger you make your scrunch, the more it'll like be cool, I would say. So I'm trying to make my scrunches as big as possible, so it's just it's kind of cool. Um, I'm doing one more scruncher, and this is going to be a pretty big scrunch. I'm starting off big, and usually it gets a little bigger, so it's probably going to be a pretty big one. Well, it's not as big as I thought it would be. But, so, now that I have all of mine scrunched up like this, I'm going to do some high dyeing. I'm really scared. I think I'm going to do the um, blue, the blue first, just because blue is my favorite color. Um, I'm only doing my favorite colors. I don't know what my grandma's favorite colors are because so, I've never really asked her. So I'm going to do Moment of Truth, guys. I'm scared. I'm scared. Ready, set, go. Usually it drips down to the other side a little bit. Um, every color I'm going to show you. Oh, I forgot to put the gloves on. Good thing I caught the gloves. I was about to get it on my finger, but I didn't. So it's good. I'm just going to put my gloves on. These are like, these are one size fits all, so... There's a little bug in this one. Oh, well done. This is just my kinky, so there won't be much of my kinky in it. See, so I didn't even touch the bug. This is good. But, um, we're going to start off by using the blue. Because that's just the main color. And it's obviously my favorite color. If you didn't know. Maybe I should make one of these for my dad one day. That'd be kind of cool. So I'm just getting all the edges of the blue one. I'm also going to put some blue here too. I'm putting China for blue in the mustaches because I'm not really using that many colors. And I'm trying to do a lot of colors. So I'm trying to make it pretty, I don't know, like spread it out, I guess. Um, so every color, every color, every time I change a color, I'm going to show you. It's hard to... Yeah. Yeah. This is it. So this one is blue. That one's also blue. I feel like I like them so far. Sorry guys, I had to put it in my mouth because I can't. How do I show you guys the results when I'm done? Because I just feel like I don't want to keep, you know what I mean? So, I'm going to put some purple here on this one. Because I feel like purple, I feel like purple will look cute here. I really hope I don't mess up because this is obviously my dad's shirt. So I obviously don't want to mess it up. So that'd be like a waste of shirts, kind of. Cause I'm using my dad's and not just like using someone random shirts. Some random person shirt. I'm using my dad's, so it's a little bit scarier. But I feel like my grandma will love it. She loves pretty much everything I make her, so I think she'll definitely like what I made her. I'ma do the god die on me, but I didn't. Let it my face, but it's hard to like whip your hair back. Like, uh. um, then I'm also gonna do some purple up here. Oh my god, I just got it everywhere. That's okay. There's no such thing as messing up in tie dye. Tie dyeing, not a such thing as messing up when you're tie dyeing because you're always doing different like shapes and triangles and shapes. And I don't know, just a bunch of different stuff. It's never possible just to mess up. So guys, I just did a huge purple one, but that's okay, because I love purple, it's super cute. And then there's three more to go, so I'm just gonna do another, I'm just gonna do pink. Um, hopefully, I'm gonna test the pink on this to make sure it's actually like normal dye that I can just like use it. I can't, I don't know. That's why I'm kind of scared that if I use it here, it's not even open. These gloves are like really making my hands sweaty and they're itching so badly. I don't know if there's like another extra piece inside this. Stopping it from. I 
I don't know, but... This looks like normal dye. I just gotta figure out how to get it on the shirt. That's the question. So it's not coming out. It's kind of weird, guys. But it's really not coming out. It's kind of annoying. I don't know why it's not coming out. It's supposed to be coming out. Maybe I just gotta let it sit for a minute. Is there like another cap that's on? I don't know how to do it. And that's why I'm probably just not going to use pink. Sorry guys, I was supposed to use pink, but I didn't because I don't know how to use the color. I don't know how to use the marbling dye. It's really confusing. I just don't know. So I'm just not going to use that. I'll just use some of this pretty green. I like this green anyway. It's pretty. So I'm just going to put some green right here. I like putting it, like I said guys, I like putting it on the edges, the sides, and all that kind of stuff. So I'm also going to put green here, and then I have to figure out where I'm going to put, what color I'm going to put in the last one in the middle. I don't know yet. This is how all of them are looking. I'm just going to put the caps on all of them so I don't lose the caps because I already think I lost the cap to the blue one. Nope, no I didn't. Alrighty, well. Alright. Now we just have an extra color to put somewhere. Um, yeah, guys. Maybe I shouldn't have tie-dyed. The reason why is because I don't have very many colors. So I really hope this pink works. I wanted this pink to work. I'm gonna show you how I get it. I go right foot, oh, left foot slide. Oh, it's more like a paint. Oh, it's not just gonna squirt out. That makes sense. Guys, it's more of like a paint. So guys, it's not gonna come out this hole. I don't know why there is a hole here unless this thing comes off. I think you might have to like cut it or something. I don't know. But, uh, I probably shouldn't have, um, even thought about tie-dyeing, because this is not even turning. Guys, let me put this glove. I'm just going to put one glove on. And I'm going to try to, like, see how this pink turned out. It didn't really turn out the way I wanted it to, anyway. So, guys, I have no more colors, and I used all my colors. So, we're going to have to figure out something else. So, I'm going to go, though. Alright guys, I realize I'm just going to do a blue and hopefully it looks good. Um, but that means I'm not going to do very much blue left. Oh my god, my eyes are blue. Oh my god, there's so much blue on this. Why did I just use my fingers? It doesn't really matter. Um, and now I can put the cat back on. I'm not going to use blue for the rest of the time because um, I used a lot of it. But I'm going to use this green. I'm just going to go around all of the other colors and just start like splattering it everywhere. And the places that are not green though. So like up here is not green. Up here is definitely not green. Up here is not green. I'm just going in the places that really honestly aren't that green. Just so it looks kind of cool. Like that. Beautiful. And now I'm going to grab the purple and go around the places that are not purple. So right here is not purple, so right here I can get some purple in, here is not purple, here is not that purple, hmm. up here is not purple, oops, right here is not, right along here, all around this thing. Um, that's pretty much everything that's not purple. And now I'm going to put this on, and then I have to figure out the places that are not blue. Which is going to be kind of interesting, because I don't know the places that are not blue, but I found a couple spots. That's not blue. Up here is not that blue. Um, here is not that blue. Sorry, I forgot I was filming. 
No joke, guys. I just forgot I was filming for a second. There's not that blue. So the shirt's turning out super cute. I love it. I'm just really scared that my groom is not going to like it. I feel like I should put some on green. I know I put a lot of green, I just need to get lots of green. Nothing happened. Guys, no. I just got it on our patio. Uh, don't tell me I just lost the cap. Alright guys, well I just got tied on the patio. So I'm going to quickly and quietly clean up this guy because like nobody, just like nothing happened. Um, now I... Sorry guys, one minute. But I'm going to show you guys the final product of the shirt. I like it. It's super cute. Sorry guys, the sun's like really in my way, but this is how it looks. Oops, a, a glyph fell, but now I have to find the cap. Is it back there? Nope. Under there? Nope. Oh wait, oh, guys look, it's right here. It's right here. Yeah. Eek, eek. Found it. Perfect. It was so close, I'm going through a hole. It would have went if it, I didn't save it. So this is how the shirt looks, I love it. It's super cute, I'm gonna come back with you guys tomorrow for the, Results. I'm super excited. But before I leave, I'm going to check on these other colors. Maybe you weren't supposed to shake it. Maybe that was why I wasn't working. All right, guys. Well, um, even though it looks kind of bad, I'm still going to put some other colors around it, like this pink. I'm going to put a little bit of this pink anyway. I know I'm crazy. Just a little bit, though. Just like a plop. Of it. That was a lot. <laughs> Guys, that was so much. Guys, I don't even like it anymore. It's so much. Guys, that was way too much dye. But I'm going to grab my gloves and I'm going to start like kind of smearing it around to where it would look kind of cool. Because it, um, I know that's good. But, you know, it's okay. And then I'll just put a little bit here because you know there's no color here. There's also not much color here. Oh, there's a lot of pink. But you know what? Pink is like super cute. So I had to do some pink. Mm-hmm. Yep, I know I'm kind of crazy. But you know what I do? What you get to do sometimes. Oh, the rag is full of color. Guys, I'm so happy I used a rag. Oh my god. O-M-M-D-O-M-M-D-O-M-M-D-O-M-M-D. All right, guys, so I just used a bunch more color, so I'm going to start smearing it around again, like what I was doing. Guys, I don't know why I just used that, because that made, like, the whole shirt look bad. Like, look. Anyway, guys, so we're going to let it sit overnight, and then take it out in the morning, and I'm sure it can't be that bad so the shirt the things obviously torn up that's how it's gonna look on the shirt so I think it's gonna look really good on the shirt because this is the way it looks so I'm definitely gonna throw away these gloves because you know they're kind of torn up and I don't really need them anymore or should I keep them I'm just gonna keep them anyway <laughs> I'm gonna keep the directions I didn't really use them all I used them for was just to see what kind of like design I was going to do and stuff, but yeah, so I hope you guys enjoyed today's video, you guys can give it, that would be nice if you gave me a big thumbs up, because I just spent some of my day tie dye. so I hope you guys enjoyed today's vlog, if you don't mind, give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn on that notification bell, so you guys get notified, Every time when I post a new vlog. So I don't think it's going to rain. Um, when I end this vlog, I'm going to check the radar. If it does start raining, um, I'll move it. But, guys, I'm excited to see how it turns out. I'm scared. <laughs> like, what if it turns out really bad? Other guys, um, mm -hmm. I'm, like, so excited. I don't even know why I'm so excited. I'm just so bad the way this is my tie -dye. like just like the way you tied my, my grandma's shirt I just love it my favorite so but anyway 
I'm gonna show my mom the results and I'll come back with you guys tomorrow morning for the results on the tie-dyeing. Yesterday we were tie-dyeing and I wanna show you guys the results on them yesterday. I think they turned out super cute. I actually should have done the spiral today, but I didn't, so yeah. Um, yesterday I made this one. I'm in love with it. It's super cute. It's blue, pink. You cannot really tell it's pink. Purple and yellow. I think it turned out super cute. This is the one I made for my cousin. I did not put those same colors as that one, except I didn't put color, except I didn't put yellow in it. I like it better than that one. And then this one's also my brother's. So he, um, yeah, I just like this one too. So we were having a lot of fun tie-dyeing yesterday. So I'm gonna wear this tomorrow because me and my grandma are probably gonna be matching. So, um, yeah, and if you guys know me, I was, um, yesterday I was actually, um, doing something. I'm also going to make her a bracelet out of, um, rubber bands, because I feel like that'll be kind of fun. I'll make one of those, and then I made her that, and then she'll love it. So, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Give it a big thumbs up, subscribe, turn on that notification bell so you get notified when I post a new video. I'm going to get my facial, my facial all set up. And I might make some bracelets. And then I have to make a card for my grandma. So, And I also have to shower. So I have a lot of things to do. But um, earlier today, remember, I painted on video. And I painted this. I painted the little um, hand thing. And then I wrote love in it. And then I wrote the little thing. And then I wrote a little sun. I love it. It's super cute. So maybe I'll give this to my grandma. I feel like this is kind of cute. Or should I make her something else? what she would like. She'd probably like this. I'll give this to her. So I'm gonna say, happy B-Day. I'm just gonna say happy, happy. Birthday. Grand. It was a happy birthday, Grandma. So, happy birthday, Grandma. I think it's super cute. So, I'm going to give that to her. I think it's cute. Done. I love it. It's so cute. So, I have this for her, and then I have the tie-dye product, and I think it's super cute. So, I'm going to go... Um, Make a bracelet. So, I'm actually, since it's only been like 27 minutes, I'm gonna start making her bracelet on video. Tomorrow, it's gonna be like my favorite day of all time. Um, In a couple minutes, once I get out of the shower, I'm gonna probably throw on my dance costume. I know I showed you guys I was not gonna go to the parade, but now I gotta think about it, I kinda wanna go again. So, we're probably gonna go, I don't know. So, I'm gonna come up here and grab my. When I get um back from my um or right when I get out of the shower, I'm gonna put my jean shorts in the washer so I can wear them tomorrow with my new tie dye shirt. So I gotta find my tie dye kit first. So so um, getting or not my tie dye kit my. Bracelet making kid. I got it. Grab it. I got it. I'm gonna add the black ones to it as well. Okay, the no black. I missed all the shots, but he's now yep came over. Yeah. I'm gonna have to make.
Dolls, the hmm. best you can get. I'm not losing with the dumb dumb. I'm going to do the pilot thing. I see him. One has a sniper. I'm going to do, I think I'm going to do purple. He has a sniper. I, I tagged him like four times. I'm going to do pink and black. Pink I'm and black. He has a sniper, but... I got him, I got him, I got him. Pink and black are the colors I'm gonna do because it's like really pink and black back. are super cute. Not losing. So pink. Got him. You're always gonna look right behind him. So pink and black are the final. They're coming towards me. One has a sniper and he's trying to hit me. Black. I tagged one. I tagged one. Ding. Nice. There's one on you. I got him. What do you want me to do? I got him. Oh guys, sorry. <laughs> we gotta I'm gonna come back with a part two when I am um um when the shirts are done tomorrow morning. So I'll see you guys tomorrow morning. Bye.